now what we're going to do is basically look over Rob's shoulder as he shows us some cool things that he's worked on and maybe even draw us a thing or two. Cool. All right. So, this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> um, let's uh, open a new file here. Now, typically, um, what I do is probably start with just something simple, maybe just like a nice little rectangle. This is art under pressure. Art, <laughs> totally under. This is performance art. <laughs> um, usually, if I was doing a ship, for example, for for a homeworld. What I'd probably start with is like just to try and get the um, the overall shape is I'd probably just um, block in something very very basic to begin with, like or something like this. Like, like maybe this is um, some some kind of large ship. This would be like a probably some kind of mothership class unit because you can see that it's got this um, kind of big form to it. Maybe at the same time I'll draw a little strike craft down here and get an idea of some of the characteristic massing that goes into some of these yeah, something else, yeah, sort of tie down -y shape like this. So these kind of ships would be related. I'd, I'd imagine these two would kind of be in the same fleet, maybe even. And you've got like some kind of fin action happening on there, like that. And just like lighten those babies up a little bit, and then. Maybe there'd be some kind of, I don't know, some kind of paneling, like you'd have like some kind of uh, some kind of panel line arrangement that would maybe it would, something like this. Obviously, this is super rough. Mm -hmm. You'd probably want to get in and do more like detailed, or not detailed, I should say, more careful illustration if you're going to. So you kind of have like a very basic description of the form. You might want to. Just kind of like darken in some of the engine and component areas. Can you see okay from over there? Yeah, it's looking good. Maybe I should clean this up just a little bit because it's actually pretty messy. But so you kind of start getting kind of is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Um, Start kind of getting a little uh, better sense of better sense of it, and then maybe it needs just a little bit better kind of articulation of form on there. You know, like maybe just a little bit of light catching the surfaces, just a little bit. Stuff like this, perhaps. And then what I'd probably do next is some kind of like, um, I don't know, let's make these guys tie down ships. <laughs> and what is the decision we have at? What's that? What's the decision be behind that? 
None really. <laughs> just feel like doing Tai Dan. I guess in the question you asked me earlier, like Tai Dan or Kushan, mm -hmm. and I'm like Tai Dan. So let's make some Tai Dan ships. Oh, that's looking good now. Yeah. Wow. This is. These are the colors of the Tai Dan fleet. Whoops. And the Tai Dan are known. Well, perhaps not known, but the Tai Dan have this kind of way of coloring their, their ships that are different from the Kushan. They kind of have this um, these kind of patches, patch, it's kind of like a patchwork type. But there's, um, generally speaking, there's kind of a, a tension between the, this is kind of getting technical, but there's just kind of like a, like a, like a tension between the, um, the form of the ship and and the texture of it. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. um, and then let's throw a little bit of orange. Whoops. On some of these things. Actually, I think it was the Kushan fleet that had orange antennas, but never mind. And um, carrying on, what I would do probably to... Uh, I'm speeding this up a lot, obviously, mm -hmm. so what, what would be happening... Um, I'd, I'd be a lot more careful about this if I was actually doing some ships. What I would do is get, go in there and do some high-frequency lighting to really say that it's a big, this is a big capital ship. And you kind of can see where this is kind of going. Maybe there'd be some lights over here in the looks like the engineering section of the ship. And this guy has probably not got too many lights, but something like that. And then what I'd do is probably take that, copy it, blur it out a little bit. Let's go give it a little blurridge. Maybe we reduce the glow on that guy. Copy that down, maybe vibe it up, and then I'd probably now I'd want to give those lights some color. So for the tie down, I can't remember what color they had on their light lights. I, I'm pretty sure it was like red or I think it was blue actually. Let's make them blue. Blue looks pretty cool. So you can kind of see like what's going on there and then I don't know maybe there's like a planet down here or something <laughs> enemy units detected <laughs> so do you always make strange sounds when you're drawing you know what I find making sound effects helped the drawing process a great deal <laughs> I actually, um, I, sometimes I think that a good painting is, um, can be defined by, at least a good concept painting can, and, and this is by no means like you know, gospel or anything, it's just an idea. Um, a good, good, um, good concept painting is, um, is, is often got lots of sound cues in it so you know if you if you can look at a picture and it's full of sound cues this one doesn't really have too many in it but um, sometimes it's just a better picture because of the sound cues you know you can look at it I find when little kids do drawings if you ever watch a little kid do a drawing the, what's interesting about children when they draw is um, when they're drawing it's actually happening so you'll see kids they draw like you know a guy and he's like running and and then like you know someone shoots him ah, and he dies and then somebody else comes in a plane shows up and like and like blows up and it's and like the finished picture is almost irrelevant to the kid what what's important is that they had a war happened you know while they were while they were doing the picture so um i guess it's not totally related matter, but it's it's similar because it's all about sound cues. Let's get those clouds. Let's get that space looking a bit darker. Yeah, 
you know? That's, this, you know, and then it just gets more detailed, basically, but that's kind of the gist of it. That's awesome. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Rob, for joining us, and thanks for all the fans for uh, stopping by and downloading the video interview. So we're going to post up this uh, artwork online, if that's okay with Rob. And this picture here? Yeah. Yeah, for that's sure. okay, and we'll post yeah. it for the forum goes to see. Cool. So thank you very much. All right. Thank you.